Hi everybody, we're going to talk a little bit about pairing ties with olive suits and also kind of go into what's so great about an olive suit and what colors work with an olive suit. So, um, you know, I wore this olive suit this morning because I love it, it's the first time out for it, uh, but I've owned many olive and green suits over the years. The beauty of olive suits is that they are quite neutral, like you can wear them with very cool colors or very warm colors and you really change um, the impression of the suit as a result. Um, so, you know, today, out of just the limitations of my wardrobe, because I left a lot of my ties in New York, uh, I just had this tie, um, which is brown uh, and a bandana pattern. Uh, it's nice as, as in the context of the outfit, but, you know, if you were in a conservative environment, it might be a little too fun. So I wanted to show you, like, some options that you could use to subdue something like an olive suit. Um, so the first thing is the navy grenadine. Like, a navy grenadine would be a very easy way to make this outfit more conservative. Following that, you know, as someone who likes stripes, there's also that, just to add a little bit of interest. Um, something that people often don't think about is black as well. Black with olive is great. I mean, we have a briefcase that's black and olive. It just goes to show those colors actually go really well together. You know, one of the things that I love about black is that uh, rather than using it with gray, which is kind of the first thing people think about, like gray suit, white shirt, black tie, actually I think it's much more interesting. Some sort of, uh, some sort of pattern shirt, black tie, and then olive suit, or uh, even brown sport coats. Like I really, really like black with earth tones, and it's not a combination that you see so often. Uh, if you wanted something that's conservative, but a little bit more bright, you know, a silver micro pattern. So in this case, it's a silver hound's tooth. Okay, so those are kind of like some conservative ways you could subdue an olive suit. If instead you want it to be more fun, more like, oh, you know, you can wear it to a wedding or a social event or a party, especially something that's in the daytime, this is nice. Right, like gold and brown together with a little bit of texture in it, because this is a this is a Shantung silk as well. Or burnt orange is awesome. Like that. Now, I'm gonna also go into how to tie a tie, um, just because people have asked, um, and I seem to have a strange way to tie it. In fact, before I get onto that, one thing that always drives me crazy, uh, and you know, I don't like to tell people not to do things, but please, please, please don't do this. Don't pull your tie out like this. Like that is like the number one way you will ruin a tie. Because when you do that, you tend to stretch or snap the thread that's on the inside. And it just deforms the tie. It significantly reduces the life. Like always undo it as if you were tying it in reverse. Okay. So I'm gonna go with this one, the navy stripe. So let's have a look here. My way is not a four in hand and it's not a Windsor or a half Windsor. It's a little, it's a variation of a half Windsor or anything. So long blade, short blade. I like to have my thumb on the back of the cross and then my index on the top of the cross. Once through like that. And then pinch it again and then go around once like that. And then, so my index finger is underneath here. My middle finger's over here. That comes up and over. And I, you know, I grip it like this so that it doesn't shift around as much when I'm tying. Okay, now I've used my thumb and my second finger to open up a hole in the tie, like in that area. I put the front blade through. And then I've fed the front blade through that hole and as I'm tying it, I'm using my index finger in the middle of the tie and then gripping with my thumb and my third finger to just like ease that front blade through while maintaining that dimple. Okay? And that's all set. And then you just cinch it up. And I screwed up on the length slightly there. I apologize. But there you go. That's how you tie a tie and you end up with a decent dimple as well. Thanks for watching.